Welcome back to another episode of State of the Arts DMV from Black Rock Center for the Arts. This is the podcast where we bring you in-depth conversations with artists making waves across the DMV and beyond. I'm your host, Orietta, and today we have a truly special guest with us. He's a three-time Cuba Disco Award winner, Yamaha artist, and a trailblazer in the world of Afro-Cuban jazz. You may have seen him headline prestigious venues like Carnegie Hall or performing alongside legendary figures like Chucho and Bebo Valdez. He is none other than the phenomenal pianist, composer, and band leader, Dai Ramir Gonzalez. First, this message from our gallery. The Hispanic Chamber of Commerce Montgomery County in partnership with Gaithersburg Germantown Chamber of Commerce and Black Rock Center for the Arts is proud to announce the opening of Hispanic Heritage Month with Colores, an exhibition celebrating the vibrant talents of Latino artists residing in Montgomery County. On view now at Black Rock Center for the Arts in the K Gallery. Excepcionales exposiciones de arte visual en una variedad de medios. BlackRock presenta exposiciones en nuestras galerías a lo largo del año para brindar oportunidades de expresión creativa a los artistas y fomentar el compromiso activo de audiencias de todas las edades. Actualmente, en la Galería K, hasta el 3 de noviembre, está en exhibición Colores, una muestra de artistas locales de América Latina presentada por la Cámara de Comercio Hispana del Condado de Montgomery, la Cámara de Comercio de Gaithersburg, Germantown y Black Rock Center for the Arts. And we're back with Dairamir González on State of the Arts DMV from Black Rock. Gracias. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's an honor to have you here. You recently visited us at Black Rock Center for the Arts in Germantown, Maryland. Yeah. What do you think of Germantown? What do you think of Black Rock? I loved it. It was a beautiful and friendly uh, city. I have been working on this on this uh, uh, performance for uh, already like a year, organizing with Kelly to, to make it happen. And I'm so happy that I, that I was there on the stage to finally see it happen and also see that audience that was so into me, is so friendly, so welcoming that we even dance on a stage. <laughs> that was such an amazing moment to see members of the audience get on stage. You invite them and you dance with them. You're an amazing dancer, by oh, the way. Oh. I'm Cubano. Oh. Eh? One, yeah, two, three, yeah. One, two, <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible not to move to all those groups you're turning out. Oh Where are you going next on your tour? Now I'm going to actually to Mexico, to Monterrey, Mexico for a, for a week of, of residency as a, as an artist residency at the university there. I'm going to do a performance and master class and talking to the students about, you know, music business, how to approach the mental the mental way of, of being strong when the, the, the hardship of, of, of life comes in. All of that is important. And then uh, I'm going to Washington, D.C., so I'm going to be just 30 minutes away from you guys Yay. very soon on October 8th. So I'm so excited. You need to come. You Fantastic. guys need to come. Fantastic. Ah. It's going to be at Blues Alley, right? Sí. Bueno. So you are an educator and a musician. Um, that's I'm, a really I'm, beautiful I'm, thing. Among many other things. Among many other among things. Many other things. <laughs> among, among many other things. How did you understand that you wanted to have a career as a musician. You were so young when your career took off. What's that like? I mean, when did you understand that? Exactly. I, for me, it was a, a kind of, of a path of a being expected to be a musician because my family are all musicians. So it kind of expected to play the piano. The piano was always there, was all, also was always friendly and open. Uh, every time you feel sad, come sit on the piano. If you are happy, come sit on the piano. If you are having a celebration at home, come sit the piano and, and sing. So, and then with that in Cuba, I started like, you know, the course of, of studying the music conservatory from a very, very early age. 
the age of seven, eight years old. So you start already having a very a strong background of Bach, Beethoven, Baroque music, classicism. So that is that is already shaping your your aesthetic through music uh, from a very early age. So at the same time, my dad was a, a popular trumpet player in Cuban music. So I used to go in the daytime to the European classic conservatory and they, to have the classical training and then going at nighttime or in the afternoon to see my dad playing salsa with his band. Amazing. So uh, so that's the only thing. In a way, it's growing, it's growing inside you. It's growing inside you unconsciously, unconsciously, because it's, it's, a, it's a whole environment around it and it's expected in a way. But and then you know, and then you know, because of the economical situation in Cuba as well, it's expected you as well to do well because in a way it's a it's a it's a ticket, it's a it's a it's a it's a ticket, one way ticket to 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 be the first one to actually make economy and to have career outside of Cuba. Uh, you know, the neighborhood, the neighbors are expecting you to succeed. They feel very proud to know that uh, you are a black man like them, or or, or you are a, just a man, you know, a, 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 a someone of the community who is, who they see in the TV, they see in the, in the radio, they hear the radio. So in a way, uh, all of those elements, my family, the being a conservatory, being around my dad performing, seeing the performing, having people expecting a way, you know, to be related to me, all of that made the compound to to say, okay, I, I really have a lot of responsibility into that. I'm gonna I'm gonna carry in and honor it and go for it. We're going to pause here for a moment. When we come back, we'll continue our conversation on State of the Arts DMV from BlackRock. With more than 30,000 spectacular square feet that incorporates two theaters, two galleries, rooftop terrace and lounge, and soaring ceilings, BlackRock is perfect for your next event, big or small. Conveniently located in the heart of Germantown, BlackRock offers elegance, functionality, and exceptional service at a fraction of the cost. Contact us by email, rentals at blackrockcenter.org. And we're back. I love that in your family, the piano was the central communal space. As you said, you feel sad, you sit at the piano. You feel happy, you sit at the piano. People come over, you sit at the piano. And it's, it's, it's always music. I I love Finding that. Finding an excuse to play the music. It's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I and then, it. and then when you start it. growing up and then you see, you know, like 16, 17, 18 years old, 20, that you see that, uh, you know, press and TV and and, and uh, the, the audience is responding to what you're playing. Okay, man, I need to say this series because I'm, I'm actually quite uh, proficient in what I do. So, and also I feel like I, I connect, I, I found that that it can connect very, very closely with the audience. I also found that I, I felt very confident. I'm very, see, confident when I stay <laughs> uh, playing and being seen and being on the spotlight and, uh, and being bilingual, uh, trying to all over connect with other cultures, understanding different aesthetic of music and uh, livelihood, all of that. Cuba, Cuba as a country is already all of that. Everything that I just mentioned represent Cuba. You know, Cuba has been a country who has been who, who has needed to stand up for herself, for itself, for for, for forever, uh, and uh, it's a country who has a, a, the responsibility to carry the legacy of the music, of the art, of the political, of the social manners. So it's a it's a, it's a country that itself, uh, when you say I'm Cuban, you're very you are giving a gift. Uh, and, and also you have the responsibility to stand up for 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 the one who were before you and uh, and they create the platform for make you who you are and make you and you know prepare for, for what you do so it's, it's it's important it's a good responsibility just to to say at least i see it that way to to, to be to becoming an a cuban ambassador and uh, which is it go beyond playing the piano a cuban ambassador re representing the culture representing a, a you know the family representing my ancestors spanish ancestors african ancestors what they went through to get to Cuba to actually establish a new life, a new culture in, in, in the city, in Havana, in Cuba in general. So just being Cuban, just being Cuban represented responsibility and proudness. And we will continue the conversation after this message. Hi, my name is Opal. I'm 11 years old. I love Black Rock because the teachers there make me feel so welcome. 
Did you know that Black Rock Center for the Arts offers scholarships for classes? Contact us at info at blackrockcenter.org for more information. And we're back with Dairamir Gonzalez on State of the Arts DMV from Black Rock. One song that you played for us at Black Rock is Guantanamera. Guantanamera is a song that's very popular. People know the song, even though they don't know they know the song. Uh, Wyclef Jean made a version of Guantanamera that also really popularized it in the aughts. And can you talk a little bit about the significance of Guantanamera? You know, uh, you know music, 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 music has always been a point of uniting cultures and uniting people and trying to amend uh, political differences and, and, and social differences and cultural differences. Uh, you go to countries where you don't even speak the language and uh, as soon as you play the music, people relate. So uh, as you may know, as you, as you just said, Guantanamo is a song that people know it and so many people don't even know that they know it. And uh, you know it's been ingrained in, 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 many, in many years for years. So in a way, this this version of mine it goes beyond uh, the song itself. It's a way for me to sit on the piano and and, and even if I'm in German German town, three thousand miles from Havana, I will say, listen, I'm, I'm I feel still connected to my root. It's a way to also to share it from a very deep and personal way what makes me Cuban and what made me being sitting there in front of you guys. I'm American citizen, I'm American citizen, but I'm an Afro-Cuban pianist, Afro-Cuban pianist who come from a family of musicians, who come from this, from go from that. So I use the excuse, literally, I use the excuse to play Guantanamera as a ticket, as a one way to connect my culture with you guys, with the audience, to tell the audience I'm here. Also, to tell the audience, come to Cuba, embrace my country as well, continue embracing my country, learn more about it. We have gone through a lot of stuff, like many countries, but in my in particular have been still going through a lot of things. So sometimes media portray Cuba in many different ways. It's just depending how it's influencing your own perspective, your own thing. So in a way, it's a very nice way, I won't call it an excuse, a nice way to connect and, uh, and educate and introduce and to share my culture with the audience. Yeah, that was a very exciting moment when you began to play that. Um, it was real, real uh, suavecito. And there were a lot of like modern jazz um, components to it. That makes me curious about where you see your innovation going. You are a very unique person in that you both have all these traditional aspects of musical training and education and culture. How do you, like, do you negotiate tradition and innovation? No, I do believe that at the same, I tell my students all over that are you, in order to be an innovative person, you gotta understand the root, the, the foundation. There's no way to you can in the way anything if you don't know where it coming from. That's that you cannot play modern jazz if you don't know bebop, if you don't know the language of Charlie Parker, but Powell, a eh, McCoy Tyner, those are the one John Coltrane, the one who made the foundation of jazz vocabulary. Then you go to Chris Potter, then you go to Charles Kobe Brown, then you go to Godwin Lewis as a player, you go everywhere. But and then you need to, in Cuban music, you need to understand Ernesto Lecuona, Manuel Saumel, Ignacio Cervantes, the Cuban contradanza danzón. Then with the danzón, the danzón in the late 19th century, uh, the last part is the, the Montuno. That Montuno, the danzón, became the language for some Montuno to start already being in the conjunto in the 1930s and 40s. The conjunto developed into what we know today, the salsa with the salsa moving and starting to evolve in New York and in Cuba. In between, you have mambo which I, with Perez Prado, you have cha-cha-cha with Damaso, you know, you, you have the cha-cha-cha, you have Prado. With, uh, so all of those made the component to understand that I'm open to you to be 
uh, here uh, uh, with Latin jazz and Afro-Cuban jazz, all this modern type of uh, experience, you need to know the foundation first. And at the same time, I will tell everyone who is listening to me right now, do not be afraid to innovate. Do not be afraid to actually speak aloud and say, this is new, I'm defending this new break, the stigma of what you knew about Latin music or jazz or whatever. So uh, it's important to understand the foundation, but it's also important to have the courage to raise your voice and say, I want to I wanna say something new. Because you heard my version of Guantanamera, it's, it's, it's not even, you know, if you heard it, you know, in a way we said that it doesn't really, it's not, it doesn't, it's not like a happy one, you know, it's No, so, it's a different you know? one. <laughs> exactly. It was just so moving because I think when you said it, there was this expectation and then there was also this like, oh, like what's this? This is not a version we've heard before. If you hear my album Vida, my latest album Vida, in my version of El Manicero, the Pino Vender. Mani, Manicero se va a caserita, no te acuesta a dormir. Siempre guardo cucurucho de mani. Ping, pum, ping, bo, 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 bo. Don't stop, la keep going. La calle sol el tango, esta en el ande, la calle en el ande, en el ande, en el ande. If you hear that version, you can still recognize the, the melody, but if you don't take the chorus to say, I'm going to actually spread this out, the music doesn't evolve, the art doesn't evolve. So that's why I'm saying that I just have the courage to continue pushing, pushing forward. El Manicero, the Pino Vender. <laughs> this is the story of the Cuban guy walking down Havana selling salty peanuts. <laughs> but at 11 p.m., <laughs> what do you think? Same of me. <laughs> This is a tribute to Moisés Simmons and Cuban son. El Manicero! <laughs> this is a Manicero moderno. Un Manicero de estos tiempos. Para mí. just really enjoyed all the time that we've been able to spend together. I encourage all of our listeners to come see you at Blues Alley on October 8th in Washington, D.C. You've given us an education in the short time we've been together. Thank you so much for that. Who are you listening to right now? And who should we be listening to right now? Whoa, Aside whoa. from you. Exactly. <laughs> what are, what's on your playlist? So I'm having a, a very nice balance of, of listening to Wagner. Richard Wagner is a beautiful opera that I'm listening to. I also listening to this version of Bram Medal Solar that is so mind blowing. I'm listening to this uh, reggaeton guy that I love that is called uh, Camilo. That is an album that I love that is called The Melody at Night with You. It's an album that is a solo piano album since the, the tour now is coming solo piano. So I, I wanted to to approach my solo piano from a more lyrical and choral, a harmonic way. So there you go. I have a nice blend of American jazz with solo piano, with a nice reggaeton and salsa dancing. Why not? Having I'm listening to <laughs> I'm listening to Michael Branco with salsa mayor. It's a it's a it's a Cuban guy who who has a beautiful taste of, of Cuban songo, which is the development of los bambang, the, the modern los bambang. So right there. It's a good uh, way for you guys to discover new music. Thank you so much. We'll see you at Blues Alley. Definitely. Gracias, Orieta. Bless. Gracias. Bendiciones. As always, stay connected with us on social media at Black Rock Center. Thanks for tuning in, arts lovers. We'll catch you on the flip side.
puede pedir más porque Ay, caserita, no me dejes ir Porque después te vas a arrepentir Y va a ser muy tarde ya is supported in part by funding and grants from Arts and Humanities Council of Montgomery County, Montgomery County, Maryland, Greater Washington Community Foundation, Maryland State Arts Council, Mid-Atlantic Arts Foundation, the Morris and Gwendolyn Cashwrights Foundation, Rogers Consulting, Montgomery College, M&M Properties, LLC, McNeese, Hughes, and Echo Star Company, Invent Trust Properties, Envario Network Engineers, Simply Fresh Events, Wegmans, Supporting Strategies, Potomac Valley Alumni Chapter, Visionary Eye Doctors, and Minkoff.